Please Greetings, everybody from the dank basement. This is your wicked Uncle Squinty, Paul Shalbutter, with another nasal snuff review, and I love Freiburg and Treyer. Um, so many of their snuffs, complex, elegant, real old school, real British toff, you know, with the, the snuff box and all. Uh, lovely, you know, a, a social custom between gentlemen, perhaps where smoking was not permitted, such as explosives factories, for example. Uh, no, it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, their snuffs, the range, I like all of them, and then I encounter this. Now, back when I was mixing e-liquids for my own amusement, for my e -cig and stuff, I had something I called a suicide slop jar, where you sort of threw ends of everything. You came down, you had, you know, a couple of milliliters left of a certain e-liquid. You just throw it in the jar and mix it all together. And you try to sort of stay with the same theme, like Bureau does with florals. But this is a bunch of their snuffs. This is Old Paris, and I'm, I'm getting uh, Dr. J.R. Justice out of this. This, it does smell like my grandmother's very, very old mahogany armoire back in the day and she had scented uh, shelf paper in it that smelled like uh, I think it was like violet or lavender I guess probably lavender and the smell of all her various perfumes and it's a lovely smell it's a very elegant old school and it just you get lost in it um, this would not be an everyday snuff for me I don't think but I'm going to give it a second look here in front of you and we're going to see what we've got here. Typical of Freiburg and Treyer, the grind is somewhere between medium and fine. Uh, this is a very moist snuff. It clumps nicely when I poke, take a big pinch out of it and squeeze it between my thumb and forefinger. It kind of hangs together, right? I guess it didn't. <laughs> it's all over me. I got snuff all over me! Okay, let's see what we got here. I got a big woof here. I hope it doesn't kill me. Let's see what we got going here. Yeah, the uh, initial aroma is a sort of a mixed floral. There's some linen in there. There's a tiny, tiny hint of a bergamot or some citrus, but very small. There's tonka, tonkin in here, tonka bean. I'm pretty sure of it. A lot of lavender. Yeah. Okay, pardon my crudity, I don't have a clean handkerchief since discovering that this blindfold I used in the last video was in truth last night's fantasy hanky, don't ask. How do you think I went blind? Um, at any rate, uh, yeah, this would not be an everyday snuff for me. It is delightfully complex. I mean, and that sounds very uh, artsy-fartsy when I say that. Well, it's delightfully complex in overtones of Tai Chi Tuan and Feng Shui. It's a, it's a completely lovely British snuff. It makes you want to kiss the Queen's left labia. And, uh, yeah, yeah, come on. I'm not English. I can't pretend to be one. Not even with this. But it does recall an era that I wish I could have lived for a while, maybe. Uh, and it does remind me of my grandma's house. <laughs> and for sentimental reasons, not an everyday snuff, but a once in a while delightful nose freshener. Very, very good if you want to forget bad odors. It does not smell like a cat box, uh, you know, a cat litter. Um, and, and I'm presuming clean cat litter here. Um, no, it's... It's just really nice, uh, complex. Not it's gonna. It's not gonna be everybody's favorite. I want to give this on the squinty scale, where one is, yeah, forget it, and five is. Let's share. Uh, this is a four and a half. It's a very, very good snuff. Not everybody's cup of tea, but uh, not bad. From the dank basement, this is your wicked Uncle Squinty, Paul Shelbetter. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for pushing the button. Eventually, I'll be able to monetize these and finally be able to pay for my psychiatrist. Thanks again for watching. <laughs>